Hello there, my name's Claire and this is Stitch M So. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Today's video is going to be a roundup of everything I made in the month of April. So if that interests you, please stick around with me today. Most of the things that I made in April were things for other people. And that was because I was taking part in the challenge Selfless Sew April 22. This was a challenge that was first set up by the lovely Crystal from my social thread and she brought on Adele as well who and they worked very hard together to set up the challenge and um, got lots of lovely sponsors on board to uh, provide prizes and things and then a little bit later on I joined the group and just sort of helped in terms of promoting the challenge and also once the challenge was over on the 30th of April just um, collating all, all the entries uh, deciding on the winners um, and just the sort of the general sort of admin bit sort of behind the scenes. It was a fantastic challenge and hopefully one that will be coming back next year. But uh, there was a number of items that I made during the month and I sort of mapped those out in my sort of plans and inspiration video that I did um, earlier on in the month of April. And I managed to sew up everything I was intending to make apart from I was hoping to make up some slippers for my uh, husband and my two boys using the um, Wayfarer shoes by Twig and Tail. And so that's something that I will carry forward to make perhaps towards, uh, you know, going into the autumn time, maybe sort of September, October. I don't think my boys will, as we go into the warmer months, will wear slippers that much. And by the time we get to uh, the colder months, no doubt their feet will have grown and that will be a complete waste of time. Uh, so I will leave making um, their slippers until later on in the year. But let's get on with what I did actually get sewn up. Now, the very first thing that I sewed up was quite a boring item. I'm just going to whiz over it. My husband is a big gamer. He has lots of different games consoles, lots of sort of um, retro gaming and things as well. And he wanted covers for his games consoles. Now, I'd made a number of these in the past, but there was still more to make. He's been going on at me to make these for some time. And so I said that I would sew up at least one this month. I did only sew the one, but I sewed one. And they're just out of this sort of Mario fabric. It was a, originally um, a bed cover. And I, I've just sewn different ones up, as I say, um, it, obviously in different sizes to match the shape of the, the games console. So that was a make number one. Make number two was actually two items, um, they were identical. I sewed up two um, drawstring makeup bags. I'm gonna pop some pictures in because I've already gifted those. They were for two lovely friends' birthdays. I filled them with lots of lovely um, sort of cosmetics and uh, things and some chocolates and things and pop those in the post and got them sent over to my lovely friends. So they've been very well received. They seem to really like them. So that was a lovely make to make this month. The next item I made was an item for my husband and it was this t-shirt here. This is the Elliam Mac straight fit raglan top. And obviously with a raglan sleeve, and so I've taken the opportunity to do a bit of colour blocking. I bought this particular fabric bundle from uh, Fabrics by Penny Community Group on Facebook. And as I say, it was sort of a pre uh, put together bundle with this um, gorgeous fabric, some red and the, the blue ribbing. And I just thought they went really nicely together. I've obviously made the short sleeve version for my husband, but you can also make it as a three quarter length sleeve, a long sleeve. You can put a hem band on the bottom and, and cuffs on the sleeve to make it more of a jumper. And it's a unisex pattern. So it's got a great size range on this particular pattern. Uh, so definitely one that you can get kind of your money's worth out of, because obviously you can sew it up uh, for, for, for any adult really. So, yeah, a really great pattern. I've done some blue top stitching round just to pick out the um, colour 
uh, of the ribbing there. I've done the same on the sleeve um, and on the bottom, although you probably can't see that that well. Uh, and I've popped it in a little um, label there. I think that's a Kylie in the sh machine label. And I've got some nice rainbow overlocking thread because I just thought that went well with it being a nice bright colorful t-shirt um, so yeah if I was to make this top again I would probably add an inch or so to the length of the sleeve because it came up a little bit short but other than that oh and the neckline came up very slightly sort of too high for him so I would probably just scoop that down just a little bit if I was to make that particular pattern again for him which I think I would do the next pattern I made was for my younger son and it was using an old faithful pattern that I love to use when sewing up things for my boys and it is the Waves of Wild Hot Chocolate pattern. So I made this gorgeous little hoodie. It's actually made from a jersey fabric rather than like a sweatshirting or a French terry. So it's quite thin for him to use in the summer months. It's got a red lining in the hood got this gorgeous like, otter design all over and I've just used some navy cuffing on the sleeves and the hem band. I'm not going to go into sort of the details of this pattern too much because I've spoken about it so many times on my channel and I don't want to bore you but I do like this particular version. I think it's super cute and I'm hoping he'll get a lot of wear out of it. I've He's uh, three, my younger son, but I've sewn up the, the size at uh, the age four in the hope that obviously he'll get a little bit longer wear on it. Both of my boys are quite tall so I always like to sort of size up a size just so that I'll get a little bit of extra wear um, and because it's a jersey fabric rather than sort of a heavy sweatshirting it's a little bit more roomy anyway. So yeah really pleased with that one. I think it's super cute and they'll definitely be bought hot chocolate patterns um, for my boys the size range on the waves and wild um, hot chocolate and all the waves and wild patterns are fantastic this one goes from a preemie size right up to the age 12 so yeah there'll definitely be more versions of the hot chocolate for both my boys in the months and years to come the next two items were again for my boys and it was just some matching pajama shorts for my boys in this cotton fabric this I used the patterns for pirates walk the plank PJs and I've obviously just done the shorts version this so these sewed up so quickly basically you've got one pattern piece which you obviously cut out for um, two pieces that's it and then you need some elastic there isn't a side seam so each leg is just one piece. They sew up so quickly. Obviously, because I was sewing in a cotton, they press nicely. Yeah, they literally sewed up in a matter of minutes, really. Half an hour, I reckon I'd whizzed up both pairs. So, yeah, really, really quick, easy pattern. Again, a free pattern. So, if you are new to sewing and you are looking for somewhere to start, I would highly recommend starting with a pyjama pattern. The pattern for pirates, um, free pattern, it, they also do a adult version as well. So well worth checking out if you want to go into your first foray into um, garment sewing or sewing up for something for somebody else where you don't want to necessarily spend huge amounts of time but will sew up a nice cute garment. I probably at some point will sew them a t-shirt to go with these in a jersey fabric but I just thought they would be ideal for the summer months to wear to bed and they can just wear with any any t-shirt for now and until I get round to making a top for each of them. Next items that I sewed up were for my husband again I say items because it's some pyjamas, so obviously got a top and bottoms. I used the Ellie and Mac Adult Classics PJs pattern. Again, this is a free pattern. It's a unisex pattern. There are a number of different options that you can do. You can use it in knit fabric or woven. Uh, there are patterns for sort of a, a very sort of classic woven style button up shirt pyjamas. 
you can do a night shirt um, you can do sort of a, a long t-shirt style night shirt I've gone with the sort of knit style jersey pajamas for my husband in just a sort of a cotton jersey fabric these have come together really nicely I've done some sort of top a twin needle stitching round the neckline and and I've put some cuffing on the sleeve cuffs but the bottom is again just turned over um, and and top stitch down there so that's the uh, that's the t-shirt or the long sleeve top and then the pajama bottoms are here I'll pop some pictures in because obviously these are gonna be quite hard to see on screen and I've chosen to put the pocket in on either side and again obviously it's got some uh, cuffing fabric ribbing fabric at the top and the only uh, sort of addition that I really did is he wanted um, cuffing on the bottom so I took a little bit of length in I slightly tapered the legs and I popped on a little cuff um, if I made the pattern again I need to probably treat that a little bit but for pajamas it's absolutely fine they're super comfy for him they're a bit oversized but uh, that's what he wanted I myself it always sort of size up in pajamas because I don't like to feel restricted in bed don't want anything tight you just want to be super comfy when you're in bed so this is a great set for wearing to bed or just general sort of lounge wear as well so he's really pleased with those so that's all my selfless sew makes I also made three items for myself this month the first item was for a pattern test so unfortunately I can't show you that yet I think the pattern will be coming out sometime um, in May so I will once I've been notified that I can I will show you my version of that and sort of explain some details about that perhaps in a Friday sews video or a, or a solo video I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that one yet but I do have two makes that I can show you and let's get into those now now the next two makes I won't go into too much detail I did talk about them in my last Friday sews video but I thought it wouldn't be right to round up my monthly roundup of makes without showing them to you as well. So the first item is the Friday Pattern Company Sagebrush Top in this gorgeous white fabric with feather detail on, feather design on. This has come together really well. Cotton is an absolute joy to, to sew with. And it's got this gorgeous ruffle detail and on the back there is the tie detail you use bias binding around the neckline and that goes in to make the, the tie at the back and of course it's got these big statement puffy sleeves um, I mentioned in my Friday sews video that they're a little bit too puffy for me in this particular fabric being a cotton fabric I think it was a, if it was in a viscose fabric they would be fine um, but if I was to make this pattern again in a cotton fabric, I would probably pinch an, an inch or so out of the fabric just to reduce that puff a little bit and just make them a little bit tamer. Um, that being said, I have seen other gorgeous versions of this particular um, make on Instagram where people you know, have made it in a in a cotton fabric with the full sleeve and I think it looks great but just on myself I just find that puff in the cotton just a little bit too puffy so I probably as I say would reduce that puff if I was to make it in a cotton again that being said I it won't stop me from wearing this particular item I am finding that sewing I think I've said this earlier on in the video is making me um, a little bit more adventurous in things that I wear and sometimes it will take me a few times of wearing something before I feel comfortable in it and really like it so I would definitely give this one a go <laughs> and hopefully it will be one that I come to really love 
Now talking of items that I really love, the last item I made was the hug hoodie from Made It Patterns in this gorgeous French terry. Uh, I bought this fabric from Pound Fabrics along with the cuffing fabric. Um, it was really good value, their fabrics are good value and it is a gorgeous quality. I know that some people are a little bit reticent to um, buy from Pound Fabrics but I really have found that everything that I've bought from there is really good. Obviously you've got to choose things that you would be into but yeah this is a, is a really nice quality French Terry and it's just got this gorgeous dis crossover detail on there. The back is slightly longer than the front which I really like as well. Obviously uh, it's called the hug hoodie so there is an option to put a hood on as well but I just thought for this particular version I'd go with the regular crew neck. It comes to a really nice point on me, it's not too high which I really like and it, because of the fabric that I've made it in you can almost sort of dress this up or dress it down so I have actually worn this to work um, which I wouldn't normally wear a sweatshirt to work but the fabric kind of allows you to, to do that if, if you like. So I um, am on the lookout for some other equally gorgeous vegetarian <laughs> to make up uh, another version of this and I would probably make it again without the hood because I just think it makes it a little bit more versatile. I love a hoodie um, and I have certainly made some in the past for myself but for this particular pattern I really like it with the crew neck. So there you are, there's a roundup of everything I made in the month of April. Quite a bumper month for me, I don't always make that amount of stuff. I really found it great because I'd made a plans video um, in terms of inspiration for other people and my ideas that I was looking to sew up for Selfless Sew April 22 and it really helped me to kind of focus my mind in what I wanted to make during the month and then obviously I added a couple of extra things for myself as well. So actually I've I kind of learned from doing that and this month I've actually made uh, so sorry from May I've actually made um, a plans video for May and I'll pop a card in for that if you want to watch that as well. So all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please do give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed I'd really love it if you would consider doing so and until next time take care happy sewing bye bye